Hello everyone, you are welcome to Build Pro Global Enterprise YouTube channel where we teach and do all that relates to building design and construction. Today I would like to teach you how to set up AutoCAD 2018 user environment. We will also familiarize ourselves with some features of the AutoCAD 2018 graphic user interface. Please be mindful of the fact that this video is for absolute beginners. However, the video can still be very useful to experts and those who are very familiar with AutoCAD. AutoCAD is a computer-aided design software used by most construction industry professionals. Professionals like the architect, builders, quantity surveyors, uh, estate managers, structural engineers, and so on and so forth. So without any waste of time, let's get started. And when AutoCAD 2018 is launched, this is the screen I'm going to see. AutoCAD is launched for the first time or maybe if you have set up a page and have been using it for quite a while and decide to set up a new page this is what you see I've discovered that most people who use AutoCAD you know they, they normally set up a page and uh, do all their drawings in that particular page so as time goes on they tend to forget how to set up another page and setting up a new page to start any drawing is very very crucial so this course can still be a uh, this tutorial rather can still be very useful and important to those who are already familiar with AutoCAD. For those who don't know much, this will also or this will rather show them the way of how to go about setting up a page before drawing. So this is the first page you see. If you want to start a drawing, this is where you click on. You can see start drawing here. We're starting a new drawing. Uh, this other pane here shows recent document. And these are uh, various drawings that I've been using my computer to draw. So if you are starting AutoCAD newly, you may not see these drawings here because you don't have any drawings uh, saved on your computer system that you have been working on. So AutoCAD tends to bring this recent document here so that whenever you want to work or you forgot where you saved the drawing in your computer, you can simply just launch AutoCAD, come to recent document, you go through, you may find some of the drawings or the drawing you want to work on here. This other pane is where you see the notification. If there's any latest update uh, from AutoCAD, you see it here. Alright, uh, to start drawing, a new drawing, you click on start drawing here. I've clicked on start drawing. After clicking start drawing, this is what you see. And uh, the whole of this place here, this black area with uh, boxes or grid, this is what we call the workspace. That's AutoCAD workspace. That's where you do all your drawings. Now, this particular cross you can see moving here at the center is what we call the cross here you know it's your computer mouse pointer that turns to the cross here that you use to point or select commands on AutoCAD while drawing now this place here where you see letter A here is the application button when you click on it you see or you have different functions here you can see new open you want to start a new drawing uh, I want to open a zoom drawing, I want to save and so many other commands that are here. Let me click outside to check out this uh, application button. Now, uh, on this part here, these are the various commands in AutoCAD. AutoCAD works with command. If you want to draw a line, for instance, you go to the line command and click on it. You now come to your uh, work area here and draw the line you want to draw a cycle you can see the cycle here you now come to workspace and draw the cycle and to draw a square or a rectangle this is the icon and uh, so many other things here now uh this these tabs here we'll call them the menu tabs the home insert annotate parametric view manage and there is up to this feature and they are the menu tabs the menu tabs of autocad when you click uh, on home here it's already selected everything you are seeing from here coming right to this place they are all the commands and the icons that are under home sometimes some people do confuse themselves they want to draw a line and they have mistakenly clicked on insert you can observe that as i click on insert every other thing here change now all these things you are seeing are the commands that are under the insert menu tab so when you want to draw a line that is under home and you have mistakenly click here when you come here you will definitely not find it so that has been the problem of so many people so this is how it works you click on home the home have its own 
our command icon annotate uh, sorry insert annotate you have parametric view you have parametric rather view manage output like that or to featured apps there are so many things so many commands to do different functions in autocad we're going to learn the basic ones that will help us in carrying out our designs so that's that about this part here okay this other part here is the layout tabs always ensure while drawing 2d drawings i will auto cut the model layout is on this is the command line command line where you have this line this is line type type here this line type is actually a command that was typed there just like i told you all these things are commands let's say for instance you forget you do not know where to find a line if you want to draw a line maybe you mistakenly that's for the beginners you like click annotate for instance and you want to draw a line you can't find it you forgot that it's under the home and menu tab here you can simply come to this command line and type line autocad will bring out the line command for you for instance i've highlighted it already so let me type line l i n e so as you are typing you can see autocad brings a suggestion of a line for you so i will move up to the uh, line here and click if i click on it I can now start drawing my line so you see that's another way to make things easy for you so that's the function of the command prompt okay this other part here is what we call the status bar the status bar starts from this model right to the end here this place carries uh some of the commands in autocad like this first one this grid mode if you put it off it will take off uh, the grid lines in the workspace if i click it back it brings it on this is auto mode uh, this is polar tracking and so many other command here now this other icon at the end here if you click on it you can see uh, some other commands that are supposed to have been on this status bar but they are not there so if we need more commands you can just come here and uh, check any of it anyone you click will appear here now like this uh, what do you call this auto mode for instance look at it here uh, here if i don't need it i want to take it back i click on this and observe that it has disappeared i want to bring it back i'll click on it and it will come off so these are some of the commands like language for instance i click it see it has disappeared here i click it here it comes back so let me click in the workspace to clear off this pane here so i click here now this this is where you make those changes. Now, without any waste of time, this video is all about setting up the workspace. So, I'm going to take away this grid. I just showed you. You come to the status bar here. You put it off. You clear the grid. So, I take off this grid. Now, uh, this color, that's this workspace. You can see that it's black in color. If you have a workspace that is black in color, you find it difficult to identify let's say color most people prefer white i also prefer white also uh, because white helps you see colors clearly but black can be good sometimes if you are working uh, and you don't want uh, your eyes to be affected by light you can leave it at black but most times and most people and i myself always change it to white i prefer the white color so i want to show you how to change this background for this workspace color to white to do that with any waste of time, uh, you just look for any area, any empty space within the workspace here and right click. So I'll right click now. You now come and click on options. You can also find these options. Let me click outside. You can also find it by coming to this menu icon here. You click on it, you see options here. If I click, it still take me to the same place. And this is options. Let me close it and try it the other way. And I click on empty space and click on options. And see that it still takes me to the same place. So to change the color of this background here, uh, I will go to display. You go to display, you see colors here. Click on colors. Now ensure this 2D model space, space is selected and also uniform background. Now this last place here is where you have the color. Click on color and change it to white you can change it to any color you want for now i want to change it to white if i click on white you can see the preview here after clicking on white you come to apply and close you can see that the background 
right now the workspace has changed to white you can do same change it to different colors to come back to colors here let's say i want to change it to red click on red click apply i see that the workspace has changed to red so let's take it back to white i want to change it to white click on white click apply and close then i'll click apply then click ok you can see that i've changed the workspace to white now one of the thing one of the settings that i would like to do is to extend my crosshairs crosshairs is this particular cross you can see here that is moving i always like to make the cross extend from top to bottom and from extreme left to extreme right it will help you in uh, in guiding in placing drawings you know with time you understand what i mean so you always go to do that but it's not very necessary or compulsory so if you like to do that uh, let me show you how to do it we'll see go back to options show you how to do that in two ways either you click from the menu icon here come to options or you right click click on options here so i click on options still on display tab here you can see cross here for now this is the size of the crosshair you want to extend it to the very end you drag this and take it right to 100 or you can simply type 100 here so if i click apply you see my cross here extending right across the screen so let me click apply here click ok you can see it now this cross here is from top to bottom you know like that extending all through now the next thing i would like to show us is setting up uh, our environment ready for drawing is to create the drawing or rather to set the drawing unit autocad by default by default if you install it it uses the imperial system of measurement that's the measurement in inches measurement in feet you know miles yards all those uh, type of measure yeah, the imperial measurement but we mostly draw this part of the wall using the SI unit of uh, measurement of measuring length that's millimeters centimeters meters kilometers and there we actually basically do drawings in uh, millimeters is far more convenient than those other unit so to change my drawing units what i need to do is quickly go to this letter a here or the menu icon you now come to drawing utilities you now move across here to where you have units click on unit these are uh, dialog box will appear now the changes you're going to do here is you can see length you change it to decimal ensure these angles your angles is in uh, decimal degrees uh, precision if you want your measurement to be to the nearest whole number or, or to a whole number you click zero so this other insertion you need to also change it to millimeters so after doing that you click on ok so those are the only changes now i've set my autocad to be accepting measurement in millimeters after setting drawing limit the next thing you need to do is uh sorry drawing unit next thing is drawing limit drawing limit autocad is you know this work environment you are seeing here it's a very wide area so you need to tell autocad at uh, the limit or the extent of how wide this area want to be working in you know so you're going to define the area you're working so to set your drawing limits what you need to do is just simply come to your command line here you see type of command i'll just click here and type drawing limit or limit in short you can see as i click or i type lib li the computer gives me suggestion so i click on limit then you type zero comma zero now this zero comma zero is that's the uh is a coordinate that's the starting point so you type zero comma zero after typing limit you click enter then the upper limit the upper limit will define or determine how wide the area is going to use so i'm going to type 500,000. now this 500,000 is simply uh 500 meters so i'm telling you autocad this 500,000 is in millimeters converted into uh, meters you have 500 meters i'm telling autocad that i want 
a space an area that is as wide as 500 meters if you can imagine 500 meters how many buildings you are going to place inside 500 meters by 500 meters that's what i'm trying to do here so it have 500 thousand comma you press comma the first one here will be locked then you type the second value of 500 thousand you now press enter you press enter everything will disappear that means it has been set the next thing you need to do is uh, a command to let autocad always uh, kind of zoom the whole drawing for us so that's the zoom command you need to activate that by doing that I will just, just type Z on your keyboard, click on enter, you now type A, then you click on enter. Z there means zoom. I tell you to card that. Though the space you are drawing is as wide as 500 meters, you want to card to always zoom it for so that you can see the, it to the very edge of the line. Then A is you want to zoom it all. You know, you are not zooming a little way particular. So that's that. This is the major things you need to do to set up a drawing as it is now it's ready for me to start drawing I want to draw a line of 10 meters for instance I'll just go on line click now come to any empty space here you can see from the cross here they say specify first point so I'll click on the first point then I'll move either to the right uh, to the top the bottom or to the left depends on how you want your drawing to be let me go to the right so in drawing a 10,000 meter line for 10 meters rather, I'll type 10,000. That's a millimeter. So 10, 1, 2, 3. That's 10,000. You now click enter. So this line you're seeing here is 10 meters. I need to zoom on it to see the end. Let's see how the length of the line. So this line here is 10 meters. If I want to continue the drawing, I'll simply move it down like this. Let's say I want to draw a line of 5 meters. So 5 meters, I'll type 5,000. Then I'll click on enter. I want to go this way. 10 meters again. That's 10,000. I'll click enter. Then I'll close here. And to get out of this command, you simply tap on the space bar on your keyboard or the escape key. I'll click on escape key. Alright, so that's how to set up your work environment autocad 2018 thank you for watching if you found this video useful please subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button below you can as well give it a thumbs up share and comment the comment section below see you next time bye